Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. New Jersey has improved a little bit, but still leads the country in the number of housing foreclosures. It is a dubious distinction, but the state's now gotten involved, and there's many organizations that are there, there to help. My next guest is with one of those organizations, Linda Osborne, the lead housing counselor with the Affordable Housing Alliance. Thank you so much Hello, Larry. for being here. Uh, when do you get involved? When, when does your organization get involved with foreclosures? Okay, we are the Affordable Housing Alliance. We're located in Neptune and throughout Monmouth and Ocean Counties. Homeowners in distress come to us for housing counseling. We review their situation and determine what best might help them. The foreclosure mediation program is available to homeowners in distress but there are limitations to the program. Explain why the mediation is important. So, so if you're a homeowner and the bank is about to foreclose on you, you are advising they shouldn't do their own communication with the bank? Absolutely not. We've been doing this for a long time. We know what the lenders are looking for as far as uh, underwriting guidelines to approve their loan modification. So it's best to meet with a, a housing counselor to go over your financials. We prepare the paperwork. Uh, we know what they're looking for. It gets submitted to the lender's attorney and it goes to the lender's underwriter for review. Hopefully we'll get a good workout for the homeowner to remain in the home. So the banks and the lenders and the, and the underwriters, they're not bad people, but they're gonna look out for themselves. They look out for their end. You are there to, to help Make the sure homeowner. everything goes according to a protocol for the program, that they're adhering to their underwriting guidelines and gives the homeowner a fair review. When, when you mediate, are you mediating to try to save the home for the homeowner or just come out with the best deal possible for the yes, homeowner? Yes, we mediate to retain the property and allow the homeowner to remain and live there. So, so what are some ways a homeowner can retain the property if they can't afford to pay their mortgage? Well, what we're proposing after reviewing the financials is perhaps a lower interest rate, extending the term out possibly back to 30 years, or 40 years, depending on what kind of loan it is. In some cases, principal reduction. So the banks are willing to do that because they don't want to take ownership of the home. Exactly, exactly. They want to keep homeowners in their home. Because their business is doing loans. They're, they're, they, their business, so if they can extend the loan and make it more comfortable for you to stay in the house, your experiences, they will do that. Exactly. With the, um, the amount of submissions we have at the Affordable Housing Alliance for the foreclosure mediation program, we're at 70% success rate. It's taken a while, but the state now has started to address the problems of foreclosures in New Jersey. And they came up with nine bills that the governor has signed into law. Do you, once they take effect, once it becomes law, where do you fit in? We will still meet with homeowners in distress and review their situation and advise accordingly. Some people, we could ex go straight to the lender to do a workout situation. Others, they're within the 60 day mark of being served a summons and complaint and we're able to still register them for the mediation program. Now, from what I understand with the new bills, that 60 days is going to extend. It will be extend. extended. I, I believe it's going to be within three months. So if, so three months, you, I would imagine it's going to be much easier for you to it do will. your job. It will. It will give the opportunity to homeowners in distress more time to apply for the program. So, uh, so that you believe that these bills, especially when it comes to that bill and speci specifically, will lower the amount of foreclosures in the state of New Jersey? I hope so. I do hope so. We'll be able to talk to more people. As long as they know about the program, most people that were served summons and complaint do not want to face it. They think they have plenty of time. Well, New Jersey foreclosures have moved through the process more swiftly. Years ago, you would be in foreclosure for five, six years. Now it's more like six to eight months. No, I understand completely what you're talking about, and I think that's one of the reasons people end up losing their houses because and their homes is because not 
not because they don't know what's coming, but because they ignore what's coming or they exactly. put off what's coming because it's uncomfortable to talk to the bank. It's it uncomfortable is. to talk to a lender, which is exactly where you come in. What what is the what's the number one reason that people get into trouble aside from just ignoring the notices? But is it a loss of job? Mostly, it's a reduction of income of some sort. But I'm starting to see a lot of uh, medical debt prohibiting uh, people to pay their mortgage. In some cases, death of a borrower. But mostly it's unemployment. People have lost their full-time, good-paying jobs. Some people working two part-time jobs and still not making the money that they used to when they originated the loan. So is, are you saying this is an offshoot of the health insurance crisis in the country? One of the offshoots of it is that people can't afford uh, their insurance or can't afford their medical treatments and then exactly. they lose their homes? Exactly. Some of them got medical insurance through their full-time position and have lost that job and now working two part-time jobs with no medical coverage. Well, let's get to the important stuff. How, how do people that may find themselves in this situation or nearing this situation, which I would imagine is just as important, how do they get a hold of you? Sure. We're the Affordable Housing Alliance. We're headquartered in, in Neptune. Our telephone number is 732-389-2958. And we also have a website that you could apply and do an intake form on. The website is www.housing all.org. We cover the whole state of New Jersey, but our offices are in Ocean and Monmouth County. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice I appreciate to meet you too. coming in. Nice to talk to you. Linda Osborne, the lead housing counselor with the Affordable Housing Alliance. Jersey Matters continues right after this. Still to come, a drug that addicts are taking to fight withdrawal has deadly consequences. We'll explain when Jersey Matters continues.